Hey, what's up, guys? McDub here. Welcome back to the Recore Let's Play. Uh, right now, we are going to face Victor, I believe. This should, this might be the last video uh, as far as the Let's Play, but then there's still live streams. I'm still going to do all of the dungeons. Um, let's see here. Look, that must be the Prime Core. Let's get it powered up. Quick. I had to go back and grab a couple of uh, cores real quick. Come on. This has got to work. What's happening? Jules, if anyone could set things right, I knew it. Ouch. She needs to get checked for a concussion. Sheesh. Well, then again, when I've been playing using her, she fell like thousands of feet plenty of times, so she should what be alright. Right. No. It can't be. When I first breached this chamber, the prismatic core scattered. But you brought them all back to me. Now witness the end of everything you have worked for. The end of mankind. If y'all wondering why Duncan looks like that, it's because uh, I need it. Uh, I need that attack. Caught on fire, fire, fire. All right, looks like we're back in business again. Look, that must be the prime core. Let's get it powered up quick. Okay, we're gonna have to skip this. I wish it would automatically take you to the fight, but oh wow. That was pretty crazy. Let her rip. Switch to Duncan. Especially for these guys. I gotta get these guys taken care of as soon as possible. Oh, I'm out of ammo. for that for sure I think he'll deal way more damage oh man that was close Yeah, 
damage here. No, you can't have them, sir. They don't belong to you. Oh, shit. Okay, that's one down. Oh, shit, shit, shit. One. Alright, he's down. Oh, shit. Did he get out? Okay, he's out. He's good. He's good. Let him have it. Yeah, that's exactly what I need. Set fire. Set fire on him. Bingo. This guy out. Fucking bastards down. Oh, wow. Do it. I will scatter your bones Oh, he's switching fast as hell, too. Shit. Should be, he should be. One more, one more. Bingo. It is done. You did it, kiddo. You found the last P core and got the Prime Core back online. Dad? Dad! What are you? Memories. Parts of me that I hid in Mac and other cores in case something went wrong with the prismatic ones. In case I never made an offer. No! Okay, it's okay. Each time you fused a core, you were putting me back together. Yeah, I kind of figured he was dead, but... All right, everyone, settle down. Especially you, Julius. I've got to go. You need me. Farty needs you. Don't, Dad! Don't leave me all alone! You've never been alone, Julius. And that's it for record looks like i mean there's still a couple of dungeons and stuff i'm gonna have to go back and do but like i said before i'm gonna get those done with my uh, live streams it's a pretty good game so far um there was a couple of couple of glitches that i experienced while playing but 
it didn't really take away from the game. It's still fun. It didn't, the, the glitches weren't bad enough to make me want to stop playing. Like I did that, there was that one, I did that one challenge dungeon. Uh, and basically what happened was I did everything. I got the timer down. I did all of that, but the final boss didn't spawn. And then another time I went in there, I finished everything. And then when I went to the door, the screen went black. But luckily when I loaded it back up, they let me go get the chest and everything like that. And again, that's in the stream that I did yesterday, which was uh, September 15th. So you can check that out if you want. But yeah, overall, it's it's a pretty good game. I mean, the aside from a couple of graphics issues, I mean, the gameplay was pretty fine. Uh, when I first started playing, there was a couple of times where she would latch onto a core when I didn't click in the uh, right stick. But that, that kind of worked itself out. But... I can't really think of anything else that's really bad about the game. Is it perfect? No. Should you play it? Yes. It's definitely a game that I think that people should play. It's a it's a break from a lot of the other games that are out right now. Um, it, it, it's fun, you know, the platforming, traversing, leveling up your bots. It's it's really fun and it gives you something to do, you know. Um, the another thing that. The world is, it's its big, like the areas that you go to, they're pretty big, but a lot of it is empty. Like, you know, that sand area that I, that I go in a lot, it's, there's not a lot there. Once you get there, you know, there's just a lot of walking. There's a couple of uh, rock formations, but that's about it. I mean, they could have even plugged more enemies in that area to make it worthwhile, like to make it kind of like a leveling area or something like that, but I mean, you know, I'm pretty sure they did their best, but other than, I mean, I think it's it's a good game. You know, it, it's not a classic, but uh, aside from, you know, after beating the game and then getting the, doing all of the challenge dungeons, I think that's where a lot of the gameplay lies in getting the, uh, the other dungeons done, the optional dungeons. But as far as replaying the main story, it's not one of those games where you really want to go through it again. I mean, unless I, I'm, not, I'm not even sure if there's a new game plus, like I said, you know, I wanted to, I put blinders on when I was playing this game. I didn't go look at anyone else's videos. I didn't go research, hey, how do you do this? How do you do that? Because I mean, that kind of defeats the purpose of a let's play. I just wanted to find everything on my own. And uh, for the most part, I did that. But um, I don't think that, unless if there is a new game plus, I don't think it would really be worth going through. I mean, unless, you know, they make the enemies a lot tougher and there's more, uh, there's some more, you know, blueprints in New Game Plus or something like that. But aside from that, it's not really, uh, it's not really worthwhile. I mean, it's one of those games where you play it, you beat it, and you can say, hey, you know, I beat Record. But I will tell you that uh, if you plan on getting all the trophies, some of them will take a while. That'll probably add, that'll probably add another, I'd say eight or nine hours to your gameplay if you're if you're trophy hunting, or achievement hunting, sorry. Trophies are PlayStation. But if you're doing that, then uh, it'll add a lot of, uh, a lot more gameplay to your game. And uh, you can uh, put more time into it. Cause right now I believe my highest bot is like level 28, 29, and they max out at 30. And so once I uh, start uh, doing the live streams for the the, uh, the optional dungeons, then you guys will be able to see me level those guys up and, and get them some better gear. Because there is one dungeon in here where you have to have 75 prismatic cores. And so I really want to see what that one is about. It looks like you have to have all of the cores from the other dungeons in order to get in there, though. Because right now, I'm at 48. Unless they give you more cores whenever you go back into the game which is what i'm waiting to see right now <clears throat> but on a scale of one to ten i'd probably give this game a six six point five i mean it's not horrible at all like i said before and you know it gives you something to do you know the the combat it's simple it, it's really simple and i think they, they could have made it a lot harder if for example if you were fighting red core bots and you were using your blue rifle mod to where it wouldn't do any damage, but the way the game is set up, you can damage any core bot 
any of those bots using any any uh, rifle mod, but the color that corresponds with that bot does more damage. But I mean, it's it's not a you know I died quite a few times. But another thing, speaking of which, another thing that um, I thought. That, that really, it didn't annoy me, but it was a, a bit of a hindrance was the fact that sometimes when the enemies get really, really close to you, no matter if you jump, no matter if you dash, you can't get away from them. It's like they get on you and they stay on you. And I know some of you may be thinking, well, the best way to avoid that is to just, you know, be out of the way when they come. But sometimes they'll spawn right next to you. And another issue is with the red ones when they release that fire. You want to be able to put out the fire, but it's like you, you kind of get frozen to where you can't jump. So you're on fire and you can't dash to put the fire out. And I've died quite a few times like that. And um, But the rest of the the rest of the deaths that I had came from just falling and dying. That's about it. But like I said, overall, this is a, a really great game. And I, I recommend that people play it. Um, you know... I, w I wouldn't suggest that people not play it. It's a really good game, and it's easy to get into it. Like, it's really, really easy to get into the game and, and see what's happening. And I could have I could have beaten this game days ago, but I kind of wanted to. I didn't want to sit here and just record straight through. And on top of that, I was playing other games. So, But, you know, here it is. Um, this is the end. I'm trying to see what happens here. Hopefully, I can end this video here at about 20 minutes. We're at 17 now, so I just wanted to get my thoughts on the game. You know, I think this is, and I mean, for 40 bucks, it's 39.99 is definitely worth it. I mean, if it was 60, then you know, maybe not so much. But it's Kai. Let's see what happens here. Read me. I made it beyond the storms. I'm all right, and you won't believe what I found. Record do. Oh, let's see here. I'm trying to see what happens here, because if there's another cutscene, I don't want to be running my mouth over it. But yeah, this is definitely it. It this game definitely bought back like the 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 platforming genre. Like, that's really, really good. All right, so now we're back at the... We're back at the main screen. Just want to see what... Because uh, there's another slot for a bot, too, that's locked right now. I don't want to see what that's about, but... Yeah, this game definitely brought back the, the platform and genre and whatnot, and... That, that's really good because, I mean, a lot of games, they incorporate platforming into their games, but it's not a necessity. In this game, platform is a necessity. And the good thing is they give you the tools to get it done. And there's, like, different... And the thing I like about it, there's different ways you can jump to get to different platforms and whatnot. Oh, that's all I had in my inventory? Oh, wow. Hmm. And I still don't know what this guy is. All right, guys. But anyway, that's the game. That's the end of my Let's Play. And those are my thoughts on the game. Um, if you guys think of another game that you think I should do a Let's Play for, drop it in the comment section. And as always, I uh, want to thank you guys for watching my videos. I really, really appreciate it. Any feedback that you can give me will be great. And if you can throw me a like and a subscribe, that will be great too. And also, like I said before, if there's any games you want to see done, please drop it below. It doesn't matter how old. If it's interesting enough, I will go get it and I'll play it. And I'll shout you out when I do my uh, Let's Play. And